A VLOOKUP is really handy, but sometimes it just doesn't work. For example, when you have duplicate values. So here, code 107 is both Carol and Peter, but a VLOOKUP will only return the first one. Now, even if you use index match or other lookup functions, I won't fix the trick. I'm going to show you in this video how to use an alternative formula called text join that can return them. It can separate them like this, or if you want, it can even spread them in multiple columns like that using another function split. My name is David and I'm, and I have tons of videos on Excel, PowerPoint, Google Sheets, Power BI, Zoom, Teams. If you're using Tech of the Workplace, then I'm covering it on my channel. And I do weekly videos, so subscribe if you want to see more of those. So let's kick off with TextJoin and what it is. So TextJoin is a great function. It allows you to combine text into one cell, choosing a delimiter of your choice. Delimiter is text speak for a separator of text. So I can say, for example, and with space before and after, always use speech marks at the beginning and end when you're referring to text in a formula. Ignore empty, usually you would do true because you do want to ignore empty. And then text one, I can do, for example, all of these. And then it would just say Jack and Linda and Jack and Carol. It, it does repeat the names <laughs> um, because these are repeated values in all of the columns, but it would combine them like that. So uh, you could, if you wanted to separate this with anything like a comma, and then it would list them out like that. Now you may be familiar with using the and symbol in your formulas. I think of using and like plus if you're adding numbers and using text join is similar to using a sum. So if you have a range of values, you would want to use text join. It's much more efficient to do that. And then we have sum. We also have sum if. So sum if can give you a sum based on criteria. And that can be really, really useful when you want to add together numbers based on criteria in columns. But there is no text join ifs. So if there isn't a text join ifs, you can actually create one yourself using a couple of other functions. So here, for example, I could say, well, what are the food items of Jack? So I can write Jack in a cell here, and I can do equals text join. And then the delimiter is going to be to use a semicolon like that, comma, to move to the next input, ignore MT. Usually I would do true. And then text. And here you can actually write an if formula. So if this is equal to this value Jack, then return food item has to start and end at the same column. Otherwise, return blank. Speech marks, speech marks is the way to do blank in Google Sheets. Close your brackets once for if, close your brackets again for text join. This actually does give me an error. It says an array value cannot be found. If you see this kind of error in Google Sheets, that means you need to wrap an array formula function around it. Just write array formula before and after. And it does actually work. It gives you the output that you want. So this kind of method is what we're going to use to do the VLOOKUP equivalent. So here I'm going to write, for example, well, this code. And then I can say equals array formula. And then I'm going to do text join. Press tab to lock it in. Delimiter. Let's keep doing a semicolon. Ignore empty. We're going to do true. And then text one. Here we're going to do if this. Press F4 to lock it in so that I can scroll down for the other values. So if that is equal to this, then return the name column, F4. Otherwise, return blank. And then I can close my brackets for if, close my brackets for text join, and close my brackets for array formula, like that. And then I can press a tick. This is quite nice. Gives me the autofill suggestion. That is what I want. And then I get the Carol, comma, Peter. So that can be a pretty nice way to do it. And we've kind of solved our problem. I will write this in the description if you don't get it as well. 
Now, to go one step further, we could also separate it in multiple columns should we want to. And to do that, we're going to do the opposite of texture and we're going to use the split function. So the split function is able to separate things out. Let's just do it here, for example, equals split. And then text is going to be this. The delimiter is going to be semicolon and then space. You can have multiple things if you want to here. And then the other two I tend to leave blank. And then it does split it into two columns like that. So that can be pretty good. So if you combine those together, you can get what you need. So I'm going to copy this formula. And let's do it over here. And then I'm going to do split. And then that one close it for array formula. But here I'm going to do that character and then close brackets once for split, once for array formula. And then wrong row there. Control D for down. As you can see, it puts it like this, which is quite nice. So that is how you can do it there. I have a more advanced method that allows you to do it like this with output with just two columns where the 107 repeats itself using the flatten function in particular as well as other stuff we've discovered. I have another video that I'll link to that talks about that method because it looks at lots of different methods of unpivoting or flattening data and if that's what your desired output is that is possible. Now this method is even more flexible than a VLOOKUP actually because it's done a lot more like an index match where you're looking up one column and returning another column rather than VLOOKUP where you're looking inside a table and counting the number of columns since the first column, which means that you can look from right to left. It's a lot less volatile if you insert a column, etc., etc. So here, for example, I've looked up in the item column and returned the code over here. Um, and here it just gives me the reference. It's the exact same method where you've got text join, the delimiter and then do an if afterwards. Now what doesn't work or doesn't seem to work is an if and function to return criteria based on two columns. So there is a way around that using text join as well. So first we're going to combine these two columns and actually you can use any symbol so any emoji or group of symbols to combine them and then we're going to look at it's up based on the criteria of two. So for example, there's two items that have both Jack and food in the title. So I'm going to do name and item. And let me just copy this emoji. And here I can say equals text join. And then the delimiter, always in speech marks, even for an emoji, true. And then this one, comma, this one. Or you could have done it as a sum formula as well, control D to bring that down. And it gives you this formula like that. Next, you would just need to write these in what you're looking up. So let's say I want to look up these, copy and paste special values. And then here I could say equals array formula, text join, delimiter is going to be that one again just the symbol comma and then ignore MT true and then the text is going to be if this is equal to this one f4 then return this one f4 otherwise return blank close your brackets for the if for the text join and then for the array formula. I like these auto fill suggestions, press control enter or ticket if you want it equivalent like that. Now, if there isn't a, if there aren't multiple ones, then it won't return this symbol, but it can return it like that. And remember, you can use that trick to do the split as well, as I showed you earlier. Great, so that's the end of this video. If you liked it, then I have plenty more videos on Google Sheets, Zoom, Teams, Excel, Power BI, PowerPoint, Word. So if you're using Tech of the Workplace, then I'm covering it on my channel. And I have weekly videos, so subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching.